What's up guys, welcome back. We've got another 50p hunt today. Um, as I said, I'm gonna let you know at the beginning of each video if we found anything special in the, um, the Britannias and Shields in the previous video. We did, found, we did find one 2008 Britannia last time, but we found that in the hunt, so we knew about that one, so I'm not showing you that again. And this isn't a 2017, I just thought it was a, something a bit iffy about it. I think it's like a grease field die or a really worn out die or something when it was struck, but. Just a bit of an oddity, not so much on this side, it's pretty good, but on the shield side you see it. I'll, I'll keep it to one side and when we get another shield we'll compare it in a bit and you'll see the difference. Yeah, let's refresh our memory where we're at. We need in NHS, Q obviously, WWF, most of the Olympics, still only on archery and fencing. Tough to find any of those at the minute. Benjamin Britton. Beatrix Potter Anniversary, which is the, the logo and the writing. Jemima Puddle Duck and Flopsy Bunny. So, fingers crossed, we can try and uh, fill some gaps. It's a sealed bag by the look of it, 250 quid. See what we can find. We filled a few gaps last time, but didn't really get anything special. So let's hope some better luck here. So this is from the bank again, um, not the post office. So we have had much better luck with the post office on the videos. So we might have to resort to the post office this week because the bank didn't have much for us. So yeah, again, we're not going to check Britannia's and Shield dates and stuff right now. Check all that afterwards and I'll let you know in the next video. If we happen to spot something that we know is um, more sought after, then we'll see we'll pull it out. But and there's our first commemorative. Christopher Ironside. Lion and the unicorn there. This is 2013, that one. Not really worth anything, face value coin really. Yeah, so this is all I was able to get from the bank this weekend. And I'm gonna have to start trying to pre-order the stuff I think to make sure we can get it, but We've got plenty of other stuff we can make videos on at the moment because we've just started. I can continue showing you guys bits and pieces of my collection. Obviously the 50p hunts seem to be performing the best, but I guess people like to watch and see what other people are finding, you know. In this case, not a lot so far. Come on. Give us something at least. Unusual to have such barren uh, sealed bags, in my experience. Wow. Not going well. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, a dictionary. It's something, we, we can't grumble. <laughs> we found something. <laughs> yeah, that's Samuel Johnson's dictionary there. Oh, I spotted a people act. Oh, I think I might have seen something else there as well. So hopefully we have turned a corner. 1918, Representation of the People Act, 100 years since. And there is Paddington Bear and St Paul's Cathedral. Team Cathedral, whoops. Yeah, I think I'm going for Team Cathedral 
for the uh, Tower versus Cathedral battle. Let's see which one's going to be the lower mintage this year. Another dictionary there. Of course, we're going to have to wait about another 11 months to find out. There's another Cathedral there. 2019, of course. So yeah, this is one people are probably finding at the minute in their change. They're both looking... Oh, yes! We fill a gap. We will take it. Beatrix Potter Anniversary. And this is above face value now. Probably not a lot. Maybe, I don't know, £1.50 or something. £2.00. It's one we haven't found yet. Kind of shows you how rare it's becoming because what's this our fifth video now? Fourth? No, I forget now. Fourth video, I think. On 50p's. Nice to fill a gap. But yeah, I was, as I was saying about the uh, rarity of the Paddington's, I don't think they're going to be anything special, but. They're probably still worth hanging on to as part of a so far a four coin set. Um, might mean they do end up being worth a little bit. So, got my advice: keep hold of them for now. Paddington at the Tower of London. That's the other one for this year. Spotted a 2008 and I realised it was a shield. Oh. What's that? Oh. That looks really funny. And that's why, because it's a state public libraries or Something libraries. Can't even see what it says. Yuck. Lovely. Probably getting to around halfway through now. Filled a spot in the book. Found a few Paddington's. Certainly picked up from where we were at the beginning. It's 2017's The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Very common that one. Is it 19, 20 million? Something like that. Not quite as common as Benjamin Bunny, but near enough. Oh, hello. The Taylor of Gloucester. We found this already. It is a very nice coin, I think, and the most common of um the Potters in 2018, but still pretty low mintage and going to be worth a few quid after a little while, I'd say. Not a lot, but three or four quid maybe. Not yet, but eventually. Maybe even more. Who knows? We'll see. Definitely worth keeping, without a doubt. But yeah, as I said, the uh, 50p videos tend to be getting the most uh, people watching them. As I said, I can understand it as well, but if you are interested in silver pre-decimal coins and coins from around the world, I'm doing a series at the minute called Coin Store Hall. That's where I go down to the local antique and collectible fair. See what I can pick up, add to my collection. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, come and have a look. Another nasty one. 
not great condition at all. See the damage on it there. Hmm, it's a funny one, but I'd say it is damaged. You can see the displaced metal there. You can feel it as well. But yeah, VC metals there. Very common one. And that one's... Oh, hello! <laughs> Fill in another gap, and it's a good one. Jemima. Absolute beauty. It's been a long time since I found one, actually, at all. Like even before I've been started making the videos. What a stunner. Well, we've certainly turned the corner in terms of luck now, haven't we? So yeah, they go for about about tenner, something like that. So yeah, very good pull. Wow. <laughs> we're doing well, we're doing well. Let's go, let's go. I was having bad feelings after the first four or five bags there, and all we had was a, a lonely iron side sat there. There's a Victoria Cross Heroic Axe. Another common one. Lovely design though on the coin. Oh, and a Mrs. Tittlemouse as well. So that comes next in rarity after the Taylor of Gloucester for the 2018 set. But this is already worth a few quid and will go up. Obviously the other two, Peter and Flopsy, are even more rare. But again, a very nice find. We have already have it in the book, but that's fine, that's fine. Wow. What a hunt. What a hunt. I'm getting all in a fluster now, it's going so well. Shiny one, wasn't it? Hmm. Feast or famine with these bags. But I'm not grumbling. I would be happy if we found nothing else. <laughs> I'd be more than happy. Paddon and Bear at the Tower of London again. So what's that? Yeah, that's two tower, two cathedral. Even Stevens. Maybe it will be a a tie again like Flopsy and Peter 2018. Yeah, I've just been watching um, Christopher's live stream. He found a lovely Isle of Man Peter Pan territory in a 50p bag. How awesome would that be? It was the, um, the crocodile one as well. Let's go guiding. Coin I do like. Unfortunately, only worth face value, really. And our first Sherlock of the hunt. And I'm not so convinced this is going to be as common as people think it is, you know. I think this will be in and around the Paddington's too, you know. We'll see, we'll see, but... What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still got another eight chances here. Speed it up, try and get through this. Don't want it to be too long. Might have to learn how to actually edit and fast forward bits. <laughs> sure, it's not that difficult, really. But... Roger Bannister's four minute mile. 
I always used to aspire to being able to do it when I was at school as a kid. Never got anywhere near, obviously. <laughs> There we go, it's a much nicer condition. Victoria Cross medals. Appreciate the design a little bit more. It is a lovely coin, but as I said, just face value, all that top line. Twenty seventeen's Peter Rabbit. Very common, that's one we did say twenty seventeen ones are all all pretty common, especially Benjamin Bunny and Peter Rabbit. Spotted something there. Did you see it? There it is, Christopher Ironside again. First one we found. He's of course a designer. He used to be a designer of the coins. Oh, lovely. EU stars there. Above face value. Just creeping above face value. Pound to two. Something like that. Nice little find. We do have it. Scout in there. Again, a cool design. I do like the scouts and the and the guides one. Both cool. And good subject matter. Again, the only face value. I'll put you there. Need to remember to actually start at the edge of the screen. When I record on this phone, there's something here in the way. So. <laughs> but yeah. Oh no, it looks like uh, Team Tower are going to take this one. There's Paddington at the Cathedral. So that's three Cathedral. Oh, and there's a Battle of Hastings poking out as well there. Again, another one that's just creeping up above face value. It's because of the this coin stays in such good condition. I don't know why it is. It's the big field and the simplistic design, I think. But so people see them and they think, oh, that's nice, and they keep them, you know. So they're harder to find now than they were before. So you used to get them constantly. And there's a much better condition public libraries than the one we found earlier on. Again, a cool design, I think. Our first Benjamin Binney. Oh, sorry, I mean Benjamin Bunny. I'm just joking. Yeah, really common. Put him on top of Peter Rabbit. That's how common they are. Should all sit together. We're running out of space. We'll put him there, but really he should be on that top line. Another 2017 Peter Rabbit. And a Victoria Cross for our Axe again. Awesome. Out on the bag. Jeremy Fisher, another one we've not had today. He's part of the 2017 set, one of the le less common ones, but still pretty common. Him and Tom Kitten have a lot of mintage to Benjamin and uh, Peter, but still worth, aren't worth anything more than face value, unfortunately. Mm. 
Benjamin again. 25 million or something of those. The most common one. And that is that. But wow. What can you say? Jemima Puddle Duck. Absolutely epic. Very cool indeed. And then to fill another gap with Beatrix Potter Anniversary. And then we even found a couple of 2018 Potters as well. Along with all this other stuff. So it turned out to be pretty good. Thanks for coming along guys. And if you stayed this long, let me just show you this um, shield one from last time that I said I would. Uh, it's on the right. You just see how smooth everything is and the writing's very dull and and it's not worn at all. But yeah. Anyway, the real star of the show is over here. Thanks for coming by guys and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.